now we gotta do something about this. Okay, I will gladly take a pay cut. I think everyone should take a pay cut. Including the grammar school. While taxes should remain the same, because taxing increases increasing taxes can be dangerous. The world is entering a boom that shall never end. Yes, never end. Never. You've been sent a gift from some tropical Caribbean island. <laughs> When you get to the port to collect it, you find out that the gift is a live llama with a short note attached to it. Congratulations on your mayorship. I wish you a long and successful career. As a token of my goodwill, I've sent you, Hector. Treat him well. Sincerely yours, Penultimo! The fucking idiot. I'm going to give the llama to a farmer. Excellent. Alright, so let's start the vote. Everyone's in favour. Let's just have let's just have a, a a sound vote. All those in favor? Ah! All those not in favor? Me. The bill passes. Now we got a pretty decent yeah we already got a pretty decent balanced budget. Water is here. I propose that anti-water. Pollution be enacted. Of course, I'm gonna say yes. Huh. All right. So this one's gonna be a bit tough. Deputies concerned about water pollution. New laws on the way. So this one's gonna be a bit problematic because the physiocrats say yes, but the Democrats say no. I'll ask the Democrats to come to our side because I'm actually friendly with them. The physiocrats not so much, but just to be on the safe side, I'll ask them again. The city really needs this. So, there, yeah, they're pretty much on board. I think everyone's on board. Oh, I don't need to do anything. Let's vote yes. I prioritize municipal usage. The price for post office is decreased and security to a post office is also increased. Excellent. Too bad I don't have a post office. Oh god, the Democrats won. I don't like the Democrats. They oppose everything I want. Let's see. Is there anything else I can pass? To, uh, no, just ban prostitution. I don't want to do that. Uh, ban heavy work by children. Of course I'm going to say yes. Which don't... Oh, of course the Democrats are like... Nah, 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 nah. Uh, maybe the children should be allowed to work. <laughs> Backbreaking labor, huh? At least, at least the Democrats are... I really want to fix this issue. That's why you should support me. Okay, it's actually, yeah, that went pretty well. I'll ask again for uh, your support. This is a good idea, trust me. And about anti-water pollution. I'll invite your party leader to a dinner. And now he supports me. No, you're mine. You're all mine. <laughs> all right, let's try one last time to influence the uh, Democrats. Express the wish in a local party meeting, and uh, just like that, both are gonna pass, most likely, unless something happens. Dun dun dun. But yeah, we got a pretty Invention balanced three. budget. Invention. We got a pretty Mixed damn balanced budget. And now let's go with thermodynamics. The very material it requires is found. Yeah, so things are going pretty well over here. Alamarine is apparently the f uh, student tax cuts. Why not? The Democrats asked me to propose this, and now they're against the pro- <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, uh Mayor v v Vasily, 
Uh, I don't suppose it'd be too much to ask if you propose this thing. Okay, what's your what's your uh, position on it? We hate it. How dare you oppose it? Die in hell, bastard. Yeah. The, the vote will probably fail, but I got no dog in that race, so what do I care if that vote fails? No, I got votes on landmark bills. Should we ban heavy work for children under the age of 10? All those who say aye, everyone who counts. 11.50, yeah, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty heavy split right there. It's here, young children no longer to do unwieldy work. Yay. Okay, now, how about anti-water pollution? What about this? Hopefully it'll be... Ah, this is a... You'd think water pollution would be a bit more of a... Yeah, uh, I suppose children is always going to be a bit more sympathetic than water. But yeah, in the end, we still got it passed. End of water pollution. Excellent. Alright, so... Let's go with Swarelian architecture. So things are going pretty well for me. We got lots of cash on hand. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd say things are going great. I'm gonna build a second district as soon as I get the funds for it. But right, so I just gotta wait until I got enough money. But hang on, I also realized we have new edicts. I suspect. Nope, no new edicts. So right now we just. This is one of the parts of the game that I'm a bit more uh, on the fence about. After, f after, uh, let's just call them the FDP. After the FDP comes a sex scandal is revealed, the physiocrats' relation with them has soured. I think the exensivitives are exaggerating the event. Oh, so that actually gave us a boon to entertainment for some reason. Thus, from this slight and very short experiment, we may understand and judge of the mighty and wonderful laws of the heavens and the nature Right, so now we got everything, pretty much. Now we gotta decide what else to research. Let's go with the rights of man. Because the rights of man is something that we need to research. It's like, how should we have rights to men? Safe haven. Your family has earned its name in banking as patron and as patrons of the art. Now that the city is established and flourishing, People around the world are traveling there to build their fortunes. What message do you want to send through send through them to the wider world? Ravensbridge has space for any willing to work hard. Excellent. FDP wins the elections. Great. This is what I bloody need. Steam and speed. Let's see, a railroad is being built to Ravensbridge and soon there'll be trains enabling the fast transport of people and goods. Who knows what kind of changes that might bring? How do you feel about railroads? Every citizen should have access to trains. While, take, while taking a walk to stop and look at the railroad station construction line, the beautiful building is soon finished, ready to serve all kinds of travelers. Excellent. See, my traits are honest, socialite, elitist. Hmm. Elitist, that's just not good. And Emperor's nominee, so I can't be voted out of office. Excellent. So, okay. I think right now I can build, I can build the second district now. I think it's best to do it now. We'll take the hit if it comes. Alright, so, this is going to be our second district. What shall we name this one, huh? Right now, uh, right now we have more need of commercial than residential. So I'll keep the residential areas here pretty light. Uh, focus on, yeah, on, uh, on the commercial and industrial, but mostly commercial. 
Okay, what should we should have gas infrastructure, should we? No, let's not do that right now. Should we have a police station? Definitely, okay, so we'll put the police station here. And the church we will put here. And we will confirm the services. Let's see. Cost the okay, should be a once it starts getting more uh, people in it, should be great. We shall call this Sapienza. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go with a normal vote. It will pass, but I want a normal vote so that we have more time to uh, build up our funds before Sapienza is built. Shit, I was hoping to be more time, but okay, fine. Uh, vote on it. It will pass. Almost while uh, things like uh, votes on whether to build new district whether to uh, build new things they always boil down to one thing do we have the money for it if you do then you'll you, you, they will pass it's as simple as that but see as more businesses pop up uh, the amount of hey 